Callum, looks like you're having a bit of trouble talking. Tell me what uh, you've seen and and uh, done today. Well, as we're seeing, I'm not seeing very much right now. My eyes and lungs are full of tear gas. But um, so pa- Paris is full of protesters. I've spoken to some people. They say they think this is actually the biggest protest they've ever actually seen. I saw rumors on Twitter about over a million. I can't confirm that, but you know, a few people were talking about it. Um, this piece of marble here landed just at my feet. Um, and about five, ten minutes ago, well, I've spoken to some people today who, who've lost eyes previously at previous protests. And about five, ten minutes ago, a tear gas canister went about half a foot over my head. So I was nearly one of them. It's uh, certainly been interesting. Well, spin around a little bit so we can see, uh, pan around so we can see behind you. Um, tell us where you are and and what we're looking at there. So there's a really large uh, roundabout at the end of Boulevard Voltaire, literally all the way over there on the roundabout is full of protesters. And then I'll show you over here. And then behind is the majority of the police. And they have this kind of cat and mouse game where the protesters will be throwing things, i.e. that piece of marble I just showed you. And then the police will rush in with tear gas. Uh, They've used a water cannon. They're going with batons. And like I said, the best way to describe it is a game of cat and mouse. Now, uh, I, I started off by saying May Day is traditionally a day for leftists. Uh, Is this a left-wing protest? Is it an everybody protest? Is it a people versus the powerful protest? What exactly are they talking about? Why are they motivated to protest? It is typically, or usually, a very left-wing protest. There is a large left-wing presence here. Um, But this is an issue that's almost united all of France. It seems to be the people against Macron and his police. We've seen a large number of firemen. Oh, I don't know if you can see over my shoulder there. There's a fire in the park. But this this is almost a a unify, in the strangest of ways, a unifying moment here in France. Okay, but what is the substance uh, of the protest? So the protest, you say, is beyond just the traditional left wing. But what are the issues? Uh, if, if you ask people, why are you here? What would they say? The problem everyone has here is the lack of democracy. They are saying that uh, Emmanuel Macron has undemocratically raised the state pension age without the consent, uh, consensus of the people. Are there other issues besides raising the age of retirement in an undemocratic fashion? <laughs> Well, there's been a general bubbling throughout Europe, especially in the UK, uh, against this idea of this cost of living crisis, which many people are saying is artificially inflated, that it's actually not being caused by anything that should cause inflation. However, many people are saying this is actually the government artificially inflating things to make the people poorer and to get rid of the middle class. Well, listen, I'm glad you're over there. Stay safe. Looks like you got a good helmet on. I saw you earlier with a gas mask on, which I suppose you need from that tear gas. It looks like it really stings and it must hurt the lungs, too. Well, listen, good luck out there. Stay safe and do your best to find out. Oh, looks like we got things in the middle of the action. So this is that game of cat and mouse I was telling you about. So the police now rush out, they throw the tear gas canisters, which I'm not looking forward to coming back again. Um, And then they will almost, sometimes they detain the people who they think are causing the trouble. They rush out in almost like the Roman tortoise um, defensive formation, you know, with the shields above and in front, grab those they think are causing problems, take them away, detain them. And so the, the game continues. Huh. Well, thank you for it. That's very exciting. I'll, I'll let you go. Put your goggles back on. That looks like a very thick tear gas. 
I, I'd love to to see in the in the hours and days ahead. I'm not sure how long you're going to be there for. I'd love to see uh, Parisians and other French explain what it is about their country that has gone so wrong and to whom they ascribe it. Macron is the consummate globalist. He's like Trudeau and Jacinda Ardern. There's no bad idea that he doesn't get behind. I'd like to hear it, not just criticisms from the left, but from the right and the center. Why are these the largest protests? And I'd also like to hear from Frenchmen, why do they think this is not getting wide coverage overseas? Uh, I mean, these are enormous protests. You mentioned a million people or more. I wonder why, and is it that? Is it because Macron is a favorite of the globalist set? Callum, stay safe out there. I look forward to all your reports at franceontheedge.com. That's a page where we'll put it all. Stay safe, my friend. That was an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. I'm Ezra Levant. Every weekday I do a monologue about the topic of the day. Then I interview a fascinating guest either in studio or via Skype. And then I read your mail, whether it's fan mail or hate mail, which is sometimes even more interesting. This is on our premium service, though, called Rebel News Plus. Go to rebelnewsplus.com. It's eight bucks a month or less if you buy a whole year in advance. You get my show every weeknight, plus Sheila Gunn Reed's show every week. It's called The Gun Show. It's pretty amazing. You know, we rely on you because we do not take a dime from the government. In Canada, that makes us almost unique. So please help us out and help yourself to some great journalism at rebelnewsplus.com.